Welcome to the Art Hitman, I'm Perry. Today I'm going to be drawing the chest. So let's go ahead and get started. Start off with basic shapes of oval for the head. An oval for the neck here. And put the larger oval for the body. Divide the end in half for the chest. And put the arms in. And then the waist. And that should do it. Thanks for stopping by to the Art Hitman. Those of you who've been following us for a while. And if you're new to the channel, uh, definitely please subscribe and leave us a comment and a like. And let us know what your thoughts are. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to go with a simple style for the, the guy. I was thinking about uh, Scott Summers from the X-Men. Only because he has kind of like that college boy style where it's got like a, like a, a standard haircut. That's more true to today's hairstyle. So we'll go ahead and put the side of his face in here. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and get his, his body started. Start with the shoulders. And I'm you know want him to be average. Average build. Normally I do uh, you know characters that are very muscular like Wolverine or most of the Marvel DC characters are really really extremely built like they work out or have unnatural muscles or mutated muscles or uh, you know just not realistic at all but I want this guy to be at least like he's a 19 year old or I should say like maybe maybe like a life for a body and again well I'm gonna have the hands off the page is not as important at this point. I want to concentrate on the chest. Okay, so as you see, I put the detail on the chest here. And a little indication of the rib cage. Six pack. Come off of this here, here, and then the oblique here. side of the chest, this little indication I did here. And we're just about done in terms of the, the major important parts that I want. Okay, put the hair in. And with the hair, a lot of times you can do hatch marks like I'm doing right now to kind of give it texture to the hair. At this point, 
put our plane on the door. It's taking a little bit of time to clean it up a little bit. Just get rid of um, most of the guidelines that we can. Like it's cold outside. Don't want that. So just add a little bit of shading. I want the light to come from this side, so I'm going to shade it on it. When you're shading, you want to try and do certain parts of the arm that has the roundness of the form to it. And then this abdomen. <clears throat> I have a tool. It's a blend tool, so I'll, I'll let that do most of the work. And it's a very effective tool also. I'm going to get under the arm. The blend tool is good because you can really make the uh, the lead work for you. As you can see here, you can almost get um, a lot more with this tool. The harder you press, you get more out of it. out of the blend tool. Alright, that's going to do it. I definitely appreciate you stopping by. Until next time, keep drawing.